There are some artists, performers, who are so talented in so many areas that it's difficult to classify them. Such a man is Peter the Great, Peter Ustinov, a star of countless films and stage productions, author of 23 plays, director and writer of operas and screenplays, author of eight books, rector of a university, and failed soldier, tennis player, and racing car driver. The title of our profile of this 64-year-old whirlwind is particularly apt, for we filmed it in Russia, the site of his latest venture. When a black Chaika sedan like this one is seen tooling through the streets of Moscow, it's best not to inquire just who is within. Certainly official, possibly KGB. It is wisest to give it the widest berth. Not so with this Chaika. There are no idle moments in the life of Peter Ustinov. If there is an audience, there will be a performance. <laughs> Peter Ustinov is a European cocktail. Both parents were half Russian and parts German, French, and Italian. He was conceived in Russia, born in Britain educated to be a proper English gentleman, instead became an actor at 17, a star at 18, a playwright at 19, and a producer at 20, and at 21, a private in the British Army. His commander noted, on no account is this man to be put in charge of others. Being in charge of all those Ustinovs was enough. Inside that jolly head lurk a hundred goofy characters. What are you doing? You are picking up a dime? You are pre vice president of Guatemala now. You don't took to pick up a dime. <laughs> How do I you make a Russian sound in English? Well, that's very easy because very soft. You know, like the other, his colleagues said to me every morning, good morning, <laughs> good morning. I said to him, of course, good morning, because I wish to be polite. And everything is soft like that. So then when they take the telephone and say, hello, <laughs> Hi, yo. Oh, there you are. <laughs> he laughing now because he recognized what I'm saying, big truth. 